Hello, this is Holiday Cheer, and this is a uh, special video I'm doing as a um, like a walking tour of the dig site dungeon in the Heartlands. The idea here is to capture this place now as it is before the developers decide to do whatever they are doing with it. They are going to they have said they are going to fill it with mobs basically like Bramble Woods, which will, in my opinion, completely ruin the fun and beauty of this place because you'll just be constantly dying from like swarms of like 20 million diamond dogs or lantern monsters or whatever else they're going to put in here that will respawn every, you know, as soon as you kill them, they'll respawn in under 10 seconds, so you'll never get a moment of peace and uh, to check it out, to just explore and just to look at the beauty, of beautiful stuff in here. So... I'm going to just uh, probably go into first person mode and just walk through this dungeon. And uh, I'm going to start here because if I go through this door, it will close behind me and I won't be able to. So we'll, we'll see this part later. We're going to go down here. This is uh, where you come in at and on the other side of uh, Inspector Sand Spade and his guys. And then there's this door that this is a secret door that opens up. So we're going to go in here. I don't know how you're supposed to get in this door without having another player to let you in. Look at these, you know, these cool torches on the walls. I um, I might even turn off the UI hex so you can just experience it. We're just gonna walk through the whole thing. I mean, look, I love what they've done here. The effect of that, look at that fire effect. It's just really pretty and cool. And we're going to some dark sections down here where there aren't any torches. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry if it's a little dark and you can't see. It's the, the nature of it. And I'm just walking along. And it opens up into this bigger corridor. See, they'll just have like a ton of mobs. I mean, imagine trying to fight like 20 cockatrices in this hallway. Doesn't that sound like fun? That's exactly what they plan to do. So there's this different style of tile here. You walk and you're like, oh no, and it's a pit and there's spikes in there. I don't think they hurt you right now, but they might remove those gratings later and they might be an actual spike trap that hurts you. Imagine trying to get through that and you're being ambushed by a million enemies. Wouldn't that be lovely? So you go up here, up this ramp. Um, the ceiling um, goes up there a little bit. And then it comes up in this huge, open, amazing chamber. And, like, I could see this being used. Like, this seems uh, reasonable for, like, stuff, you know, to be, uh, uh, like, a, an experience here. Like, it just goes all the way around and sometimes lights up. There's, like, a cool uh, platform in the middle. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to um, actually jump down here and show you this. I could see there being mobs, like, down here that attack you. You know, there's like these little, it's like a gladiatorial arena kind of thing down at the bottom of this. I mean, maybe you're not actually going to be meant to fall down here, but like if you're a Pegasus, you can easily go down here because you can just, you know, I'm on a version of Holiday that's a Pegasus right now because I want to be able to um, access this place. And right now you have to be able to be a Pegasus in order to access it. It's uh, actually easier to fly if I'm out of first person mode. But look at this uh, etching. The scroll work on here. I love this ceiling. I love the 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 just the space in here. And you can land like right here on this little overhang. Just walk around. But we're gonna look at this. There's these symbols. That is like all the ancient Athmane stuff or whatever. I guess is what this is supposed to be. But there's like pi and sigma you know different kind of greek letters on there i think that's a you know omega and there's like symbols here like zodiac type symbols on this thing this is really cool this is just beautiful and it you know it's just something that that will obviously be you'll never get to see again because once soon as they fill this place up with mobs it's going to be just chaos in here and you're never going to get to see anything of it 
So go a little farther. There's this room here where it randomly domes out, and there's like this ceiling. Um, you go to the left over here first and check this out. I think this is just a tunnel that goes nowhere, literally pretty much just wraps around. But I mean, this is a cool. Oh no, there's this spot over here with these doors, with these ponies on them. And you can't, you can't go through these or anything. I mean, you can, the other thing you can do if you really want to see this without doing the treat, uh, trick that I did to get in here, um, is uh, you can do uh, just the slash cc true or one or whatever command to uh, check, you know, to see in here. But yeah, then there's just the lighting in here is amazing. It's just kind of got this slightly hazy lighting. See, you can see more of these and the symbols and the ceiling. So that's the, it's the same thing in here. You just go through here, these little alcoves. I mean, I could see them putting like enemies in these alcoves and stuff, but I mean, if they, if it's gonna be anything like Bramble Woods, they're just gonna be like rooms full of guys, like tons of them. And that's all you're gonna end up with. And it's gonna be stupid. You just walk through here, and then there's torches, so it gets more lit up again, and then you get into another chamber up ahead. And, uh, let's see what we have up ahead here. There is this, like, you have these little slightly raised platforms. We're going to go in there next. But you have, like, little rooms like this with, like, the pottery and the door. Like, they could make this a room, like, open up and, like, have enemies in there would be fine and just like have the main corridors open for Piney to uh, come in and just explore and just you know be in here I mean it's just really cool I mean the, the brick textures it's like you're in an ancient pyramid so this is easily the best part of the whole place is this crazy sliding wall and it's gonna be crazy I'm actually gonna zoom out again to go in here because it's getting through here is just a trick it's actually a lot easier to do from this one, so we're gonna do it. You just gotta basically hold forward all you can to go through here. Like a spinning wall here, and then it just uh, spins you around. Um, hmm, I may have gotten stuck. Uh, just hold forward, hope for the best. Is that the way? That's the way I came in. We gotta find a way out. There it is, right there. We got through. So it comes out in this little cave. Well, what could be in a cave? This is like the actual tunnel cave where they've done work here. Um, let me look at this. This is the place here. We'll zoom out again with Holiday and just walk her in here and just be really careful. But yeah, there's lava. This is like this really cool like lava place. There's all these like ledges. There's all these like little places to be in here. If you touch the lava, you will faint instantly, and it's really hard to get out of, so I really don't want to do that, but there's all these little ledges you can fly around to. It's just a cool place in here. I mean, you can see down there, there's just a whole river of flowing lava. The, the, the care and detail that somebody put into making this place is just beautiful and I love it and it's just a uh, one of the it's probably one of the most beautiful places in all of LOE uh, and the music I don't know if you can hear that is just beautiful too yeah that's just the whole lava cave area I, I'd go down lower you can kind of go up in that waterfall a little bit I think it's kind of where I came from I mean come here yourself use the CC camera or um, just get in like I did I won't tell you how to do that in this video um, someone else can tell you how to do that if you really want to know or you can ask me in game or you know in discord or something I will tell you, but I don't want to just be, you know, talking. It's not that tricky, but I mean, look at that. There's like that pattern here, and then if there's 
like this is a whole whole corridor that just goes upward into another area basically gonna come up here and it's just cool it's just this like on all these huge corridors and then just they're gonna be full of enemies so this just goes up to a pair of doors and actually on the other side of these doors if you use CC camera is the starting area where you came from so this might actually be the way that you come in when you you were the, maybe that secret door won't be a thing but uh, look at that look at the work that was done on this door the ancient Athmanes, like, you know, kind of like the Greco-Roman kind of style helmets and stuff that they put on, like, the Pegasi, but they're on unicorns, and there's, like, little flowers etched in. Just the loving work and detail that was put into this door that you'll never get to experience when you're being hounded by a thousand hounds. So the only thing is now I have to walk all the way back, so I will run all the way back through here. We'll do it. We'll do ludicrous. Er uh, I'm not an earth pony. I just say ludicrous speed, but we'll just push forward. We'll hold forward. Um, go straight through. It kind of forces you into first person anyway. There we go. We got back. It's easier to get out. This is crazy. It's like a bunch of spinning walls and revolving chambers. I'm gonna go all the way back through the dark chamber, back to the big chamber with the different light levels. That's just such a cool place, and it's just such a shame. Don't fall in the pit. I mean, if I do, it's not anything special right now. Like I said, you can't get hurt by these spikes, and it's just kind of hard to get out of there if you're not a um, Pegasus. I ended up flying there, sorry. Um, get back into first person mode. Get back up here to the door. See, it's closed now. If I get closer, it comes down, and then we go out, and then it goes up. And then there's no way back in unless you have a friend to let you in. And there's no way in there again right now. I can't get back into that inner park at all unless you're in here with another pony. So we will explore this chat, this part next. There's three ways to go here. I assume, I think, like I said, I think this is on the other side of Inspector... Oh no, it's not. This is a different area. I think this is on the other side of Inspector Sandspade and his buddies, but that's what it is. I'm just uh, doing these in small parts, so it sounds like I'm leaving and coming back. But yeah, they even got like you know they were digging up. There's like artifacts and stuff in here. Um, you go down here. Through here is something really cool and special. There's another um, trap door right here. Obvious traps. Uh, that you get stuck in a big pit if you are not a pegasus again you are in this big cave pit there's no way out oh there's like a little jump there and it goes to another cave this is interesting actually i don't think i've ever actually been in here oh this is the other side of those doors okay this just goes back up here see this is this part and there's these doors here and then there's a little cave and then this is that pit and then this is that door and I don't think this goes down or up or anything no okay well we'll go back around but now you've seen that part like yeah this is basically all that's down to the to the left this is that secret door but they could put stuff on their side of those doors uh, actually, let's show you this way real quick because I think it's just the big chamber right here. I think this is all. Yeah, look at this though. This is just an amazing chamber. And you just fly up to this dome ceiling. I mean, I could see there being fights in here. It's really pretty, but this would be an okay place to have mobs and to have some battles and stuff and to have like some kind of a, you know, a thing. Again, there's like stuff carved into this, uh, this floor I could see this being a thing that you might want to do like have a fights and stuff in there that kind of makes sense to a certain degree it, it makes more sense than like I don't know I don't know than like just putting like a bunch of stuff in these corridors and maybe they won't maybe they'll actually be fairly um they'll think things through when they do this and like put strategic mob placement I just 
if it's anything like Bramble Woods, it's going to be horrible. So you come to this other uh, T intersection here. We'll go left first. To a big, another big chamber that would be great to put enemies in. You just have fights in here. Like in these little side rooms like this. Notice how the, the, the torches are like there. It's still, but it looked green for a second there. Oh, the way I was at an angle, it just looked green. It's really cool and interesting like that. Yeah, and you can get up on these like uh, these these broken shelves, or the slabs here. There's like cracks in it. There's only two slabs though. There's not four slabs, unfortunately. But it's just basically that. It was like a support that fell. It's just really cool that they bothered to include that. And there's like a chunk missing from like that broke out of that one. Yeah, it's just cool stuff that they put in here. Like these designs on this. And I just why they would want to fill all these corridors to the brim with mobs and enemies is beyond me. Like, I feel like there's more rooms here that I've never seen that I haven't really paid that much attention. I, I feel like I haven't paid that much attention to in here, honestly. So there's this room here where there's like this brick with the, the mold, the algae mold going on it that just fell out of the wall. You know, it's just a side room. It just kind of gives you that very ancient temple feel to it. Like, this is another big side room. These would all be good places to put enemies, to put mobs and fights instead of just having them in the corridors. If they at least do that, I would be okay with that. And you get in here. And it's just this wide, huge, broad corridor with this big golden cup in the center of it. You can kind of go inside of the big golden cup. Uh, if I was any better at flying, this might be easier. Um, come on. That's exciting. It's just, but it's again. The work that has been gone into making this, into making it so pretty and, and cool, and like making that is just, it's just amazing. This is an amazing piece of game design, of modeling and game design. You go around the corners, and there's this, this huge vaulted corridor, and it's just crazy. And I could see this being, you know, a place where you'd fight things again. Maybe this whole upper area is just for fighting things, and then. It's kind of a weird glitch thing going on here with this. And it's kind of, but then there's this, this massive door, and p ponies have speculated this is going to be a boss room. And hopefully they do that. Hopefully they will put us um, give us a boss fight room. Because you can just see the scale of this door compared to Little Holiday, and she's not like the maximum size pony or anything, but she's just, you know, we are just a tiny, I am just tiny compared to this. Um, but this, yeah, this dig site dungeon is just an amazing marvel, and um, I'm, I, I really appreciate you coming along with me on this tour just to show you what it looked like and what it is and what it, you know, what it can be. Hopefully, it will be something amazing. Hopefully, then when this is finished, it will be cool. They'll put enemies in like just the side rooms and do stuff. Oh, I fell through because I'm dumb. Um, kind of there but not like in these main like narrow corridors and stuff it's just such a cool place and I really hope that you will um, enjoy it that we will all be able to enjoy it and I look forward to seeing what our developers of LOE uh, will do next I thank you for coming along and we'll see you on the next one Did I yep there we go bye